Okay, so many of you may be um, coil building along and you may be like, oh, this method that Rue showed me is just really difficult, right? Where we're setting it on the inside, but also at the top and then pulling that clay up over it, right? So we're pulling the existing clay over. Now, this is the best way to coil build. It really gives you ultimate flexibility. It makes things really strong. It's very similar to when we put the two hemispheres together, you're taking some clay and moving it over the seam, right? So it makes a really, really good joint. Now, are there other ways to do this? Yes, of course there are. So let me show you a few other ways to do it. Um, remember, this also requires that you smooth this down, okay? Um, so there are several other ways to do this, um, but again, the first way that I showed you is actually the absolute best way. <clears throat> Probably one of the worst ways is to take a coil and simply just set it on top and then just smooth a little bit on the inside down all right some of you may want that coil look right where it's coil after coil after coil going all the way up but if you just do that little tiny wipe of clay on the inside it's not going to be very strong see look right this just basically can peel right off okay so really the pot ends up only being as thick as this tiny little wipe of clay, see? So you can see that just comes apart. So that's not a really way, good way to make a strong coil pot. Now, if you wanna do that, one thing that you can do that can make it actually pretty strong is you can come in here with a little bit of slip, not too much, a little bit of slip, And I actually like to run the scoring the same direction as the coil. You also want to get some slip on your coil and then run that scoring the same direction as the coil. And then you almost need coils that are a little bit firm, not leather hard, but a little bit th firm because then you're going to push that on there and you can kind of clean that seam up. You're going to push that on there and then you can go ahead and smooth that inside. All right. So you can have a little bit, it might, might feel like there's a little bit more control when the coil's a little firmer. And if you want that coil look on the outside, this is a fine way to do it. The other thing is you could always come back and just smooth this over too, as well. Um, now I'm smoothing down, so it's a little bit different. In doing this, the coil doesn't like grow in length and the pot doesn't have as much tendency to go out because you've let the coil kind of dry up a little bit. Um, it's good, but it's not really as good. You see it still can, can come off a little bit easier. This one is like really part of the situation. It's much more difficult to get off by the time you've smoothed it down. Um, so those are some options. Um, again, you know, this method of setting it to the inside and kind of just pulling up allows you kind of free reign and building. It's kind of this like smear pinch, right? It lets it go up and up and up and up. Um, just remember, if you do want that coil look, um, don't just set two coils together and then just do a thin wipe. You've got to slip and score actually the whole way because that is really, really weak. Okay, even, even if you do that thin wipe on both sides, you're not really moving much clay. It's still really, really weak. All right. Okay, um, fight through the coil building process. Um, you'll get there, it just takes practice, all right?